example here so kerry topping is a basically a very important station that comes in your exam as a talk station and in mcqs so you have to interpret the report you have to analyze it and you have to give the results so we'll discuss it that how normal kerry topping appears and which type of kerry topping reports can come in your exam so before going to in details uh the first start with the basic thing first is the sample that what sample which sample of uh, body is used for the kerry topping so they basically we use two type of sample first is the buccal mucosal cells we just use a swab and and brush the swab with the inner aspect of the uh, our uh, cheeks that is buccal mucosa and uh, we can use this sample for the kerry topping second is the blood sample so we can use the blood sample uh, a few ml of blood is drawn from the vein and that can be used for the keratapping so these two types of sample can be used for the keratapping so first we see that how normal keratapping a normal uh, keratapping report appears this is basically the normal keratapping graph uh, it shows a uh, different number of cells uh, you if you can see that uh, these are the basically the cells which we call as autosomes these are the autosomal chromosomes and there are basically 22 pairs of the autosomes so every chromosome has a pair So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So if you see every cell, you have to see every cell and and uh, observe that uh, each uh, the chromosome has in the form of pair. And you have to analyze the anatomy of each chromosome that both the chromosome appear to be symmetrical, irregular. If the chrome one chromosome appears to be short, it means that the portion of that chromosome is missing and if one chromosome appear to be the larger one it seems that uh, there is some transcription of genetic material from other chromosomes to that chromosome so both you have to see for two things one is that the every chromosome should be in the pair and second is that you have to see that the both chromosome appear to be symmetrical their genetic material should be equal so their length their size should be equal if their size is different one chromosome is short or other chromosome is long there can be some translocation after analyzing uh, these uh, uh, autosomes we have another pair of chromosome that we call as a sex chromosomes it also comes in the form of pair so it can be xx it can be xy uh, if the, it comes as form of xx it means that the gender is female if it comes in the form of xy it means that the gender is male so normal appearance is either xx or either xy beside this any appearance is abnormal so this is basically the normal kerry typing if reports come in this way you report it as a normal so now we see uh, the different diseases different patients of the keratotyping and uh, how they appear if you uh, analyze this sample <coughs> this is report basically from the aha uh, and the sample here used again is the blood sample so if you see the chromosome as i have already told you that before going to interpretation you have to see first the autosomes and then is the sex chromosome in autosome you see uh, that every chromosome should be in pair and the size should be symmetrical and in the sex chromosome you have to see that uh, the they should be in the pair and uh, there can be xx or xy there is nothing else that that if you uh, start analyzing first uh, the autosomes here so if you analyze autosomes here these are basically the autosomal chromosomes and uh, the other ones are sex chromosomes these are the sex chromosomes so if you analyze autosomes the first chromosome appear to be normal second appear to be normal 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 these are chromosomes appear to be normal they are symmetrical and they are in the form of pair so here is the issue there are three chromosomes of 21 this is normal and the patient has xy so gender is male so issue is here so patient has issue here uh, again bold it this is basically the issue the 21 chromosome has three pairs so three pairs abnormal it is basically a condition if the patient has 46 chromosomes 23 chromosomes in the pair we call it as a euploidy this term is important if the chromosome number is normal there are 46 chromosomes every chromosome has a pair it is called as euploidy if the number of chromosome is increased either the chromosome of 47 48 49 or the chromosome number is decreased the chromosome are 45 44 So we call it is as aneuploidy. So aneuploidy is basically the increase or decrease in number of chromosomes. The chromosome is added or missing, while the euploidy is basically the normal number of chromosomes that is forty uh, six chromosomes. So this condition, in this case, the patient has aneuploidy, and there is uh, there is uh, basically the extra chromosome present on twenty one. So you know that uh, extra chromosome on twenty one is basically seen in case of the Down syndromes patients. So we see move to the next sample. Uh, again, we analyze critically this report. 
so if well, these are basically the sex chromosome and uh, the these one are the autosomes so you have to analyze the both samples separately if you see here uh, from start normal 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 it is normal and uh, it is normal it is normal it is normal it is normal 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 so autosomes are normal now we come to the sex chromosomes in sex chromosome you can see that patient has x chromosome but the y chromosome is missing there is no y chromosome so patient has karyotyping that is aneuploidy and it is 45 x chromosome so y chromosome is missing there is no other chromosome single x chromosomes so if uh, that there is no one chromosome at the uh, in uh, sex chromosomes so this is basically the turner syndrome the genotype uh, genotype of uh, this patient is 45 x o the 45 x 0 there is no other x x chromosome so in this way you can analyze the report in uh, now moving towards the next case these are basically the sex chromosomes and these are again the autosomes so you have to first see the autosomes and then we move toward the sex chromosomes so if you see the autosomes the normal 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 these are normal chromosomes they are symmetrical they are they are in pair and they are symmetrical in size so normal normal so in sex chromosome patient has two x chromosome and one y chromosome so this is not normal patient has three sex chromosomes so there is extra sex chromosomes so the genotype here is 45 47xxy so we write is 47xxy and uh, y and this is basically seen in case of klein felter syndrome so this is basically case of klein felter syndrome there is added extra x chromosome so move, move towards our next case so in this case again we label the patient as uh, these are basically the sex chromosome and these are basically the autosome so first we analyze the autosomes that this appear to be normal 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 these all are normal these are normality and normal 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 and the patient has x y so it is basically the male gender so abnormality is here this is basically the normal area uh, patient has three chromosomes on the eight, eight number of chromosome so basically it is the adverse syndrome so patient has uh, the chromosome total number of chromosome are 47 and patient has trisomy at the level of 18 chromosome so basically it is for the uh, adverse syndrome so the report you interpret the report in this way next port again you have to identify these are basically the sex chromos uh, these are basically the uh, sex chromosome and these are basically our autosomes okay so you analyze first by looking the autosomes these are normal these are normal 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 chromosomes this is not normal yeah, normal 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 patient has two x chromosomes so gender is again female here so issue is basically here patient has issue here so there are three chromosomes on the chromosome number 13 so the karyotyping here again comes to be 47 with trisomy at the level of chromosome number 13 so it is basically the patau syndrome so patau syndrome is our di genetic diagnosis in this case so uh, now analyzing the these are the commonly tested scenarios of the uh, increase or decrease number of chromosomes so next part is translocation translocation again can come in your exam before going to translocation i want to share some basic uh, concept first is the chromosome host chromosomal structure appears so chromosome basically has the uh, the two parts that are attached together by a central bridging point that is called centromere and the two limbs of chromosome are there one is a short limb that we call as a p and one is a long or uh, large limb that we call as a q arm so patient has uh, each chromosome has p arm and q arm p is a short arm q is a long arm and they are joined together by the centromere so this basic understanding is very important so we uh, if you see analyze this karyotyping so again i have uh, already explained to you that during analysis of uh, karyotyping graph you have to see for two things you have to see whether each chromosome is present in pair or not 
and you have to see that the size of chromosome, the both chromosomes should be symmetrical. There should be the genetic material of two chromosomes is equal. So their size should be symmetrical. If size is symmetrical, it means there is some translocation. So translocation can uh, be seen in different chromosomes. Two translocation are very important for exam and I will describe these translocation for you. So if you see here, if you analyze this karyotype report, the sex chromosome appear to normal. So it is male gender XY. In autosomes, the issue is basically here and here. If you see this chromosome number 22, this, uh, this part of chromosome appear to be normal. But this is having shorter size. This is basic. the size of uh, chrom two chromosomes is different. The one chromosome, uh, the, this one has basically, this one has the normal size, this one has the short size. So some genetic material of this chromosome is missing. If you see the chromosome number 9, uh, this is basically the normal one and this uh, chromosome has increased length. So the, some genetic material from here is transferred to here. So this is basically translocation between the chromosome number 22 to chromosome number 9. And this will translocation is seen in case of uh, CML patient that is chronic myelogenous leukemia. And, and this chromosome is basically the translocation of BCR ABL. This is basically the chromosome number 22 which has BCR gene. And uh, on the uh, QR, and this chromosome has this is the nine number chromosome and has ABL gene. So translocation occurs from this of this BCR gene towards the ABL gene. So during this translocation, the new chromosome is formed that we call as Philadelphia chromosome, and uh, this chromosome can lead to the uh, an abnormal abnormalities, and this abnormality is basically again uh, uh, lead to the basically the uh, proliferation of cells and can lead to the leukemia. Another uh, chromosomal uh, breakage study that uh, chromosomal again a, a very important translocation study is here. In this as we see if, uh, the chromosome number 17 and chromosome number 15. So in chromosome 17 this chromosome appears to be normal. This chromosome has some uh, is shorter in size so it chromosome has lost some genetic material. If you analyze the chromosome 15 this chromosome is normal and this chromosome has extra genetic material. So because of uh, the some part of, of this chromosome has been translocated to this chromosome. So the translocation again is here is from 17 chromosome to 15 number of chromosome. So this translocation is seen in case of uh, case of uh, in case of uh, acute promyelocytic leukemia. So this translocation is basically a of uh, genes RAR gene from chromosome number 17 to the chromosome number 15. So chromosome number 15 RAR gene is translocated towards the uh, PML near the PML gene. So finally, this can appear to be a, a translocated chromosome. So chromosomal 17-15 translocation is seen in case of APML that is acute promyelocytic leukemia. So in keratin, you have to identify, I will revise for you. You take sample of blood or you just uh, take a swab from the buccal mucosa. In keratin, uh, the chromosome number should be 46. There should be 22 pairs of the autosomes and one pair of sex chromosomes. Their number should be in, a very, uh, in pair and their size should be symmetrical. If the chromosome number is 46, we call it as euploidy. If chromosome number is either low or high, it, we call it as aneuploidy. In chromosomal uh, chromosome, ident we identify whether the chromosome number is increased or decreased. The common scenarios are uh, Turner syndrome, Klinefelter syndrome, and uh, there are trisomies like uh, uh, Down syndrome, Edwards syndrome, and Patel syndrome. Second, we have to see whether there is some translocation of genetic material from one chromosome to other chromosomes. The typical, there are two typical examples. One is the translocation between chromosome number 22 to chromosome number 9 that is seen in case of Philadelphia chromosome and disease is CML. Other translocation is translocation between the chromosome number uh, uh, from 17 to 15 and that is basically seen in case of APML that is acute promyelocytic leukemia. This is all about the karyotyping. If you, uh, the, the questions in your talks, uh, talk station or in your exam are typically within the, uh, within uh, this uh, domain of this video and you will uh, easily get through the, this station. Thank you.